What's up, Lot Movie Realist? Matt back for another real review. And today I'm here to talk to you about none other than the Nicolas Cage Dracula movie, Renfeld, or Renfield, excuse me. Um, I'm going to be honest. I didn't know what to expect going into this movie. I just knew Nick Cage, Nicholas Holt, Dracula, Chris McKay, comedy's got to ensue, right? And to that effect, comedy does ensue on top of some really cool action and funny gore and interesting gore. And it's just, oh, uh, <laughs> when, when you tell me Nick Cage is going to play Dracula, especially after the unbearable weight of massive talent, it's like, all right, I'm at this point, what isn't this man going to play? And he he gives such a fun Nick Cage performance. It's over the top. It's silly. But at the same time, you can't help but love it because it's just who he is. And, yeah, I I really dug everything he did. I, it, it's definitely got, like, a B-movie feel mixed with a, a bit of action and loads of well-timed comedy from the cast, whether that be Aquafina, Nicholas Holt, uh, Ben, Sh <clears throat> excuse me, Ben Schwartz or Nick Cage. Um, it, it's very self-aware that, yeah, the, vampire movies are, are silly and fun and let's give the audience that and I absolutely love it. Uh, for those of you who don't know the premise of the film, it's mainly about Dracula's assistant, Robert Montague Renfield, and a assistant, or as some would know him as a familiar, those who work for Dracula. Um, and in some cases, like witches have familiars that are cats and toads and all that. So anyways, um, so essentially, Renfield is a bad guy who doesn't want to be a bad guy. He's he's a bad guy by association because he has to lure people to Dracula for Dracula to kill them. And just that's his job. And he, he's, he has the powers of Dracula. He's immortal to an extent because of his relationship with Dracula. And it's just a very, very dull, sad life for Renfield. It gets to the point where he finds himself in a, a codependence anonymous group. And that kind of, kind of helps him spread his wings a little bit. So... What we ultimately get is a story about growing and accepting who you are as a person in a B movie with tons of gore and it's just so much dumb fun. <coughs> Popcorn kernel in my neck still or my throat still. <laughs> um I just <laughs> Nicholas Cage does his the hand movements, the eyes, <clears throat> all the extra gravitas. And I just couldn't look away. Um, Ben Schwartz is Ben Schwartz. Uh, it's gotten to the point, sadly, where when I hear Ben Schwartz, I just think of Sonic, and that's not a knock on him. Great job. But, um, it's it's very weird hearing the voice of Sonic Sonic the Hedgehog coming from him, uh, and I and this is coming from someone who's watched Community also. So, uh, but Aquafina does have one of the more serious roles in the film, while still getting to have her comedic moments, and that that was really cool and fun. Um, but. At the end of the day, what it boils down to is the story overall is just fun. And I, I'm really excited to revisit this because I just was laughing and I was jumping 
not from like jump scares, but because of some of the action sequences and gore, which you don't typically expect. So if I'm going to rate this film, I'm going to give it a four out of five real. I mean, you, you, you get what you're paying for here. You, you get what you're paying for. And that is a outlandish Nicolas Cage is Count Dracula film with some great performances from stellar talent, whether that be Nicholas Holt, Aquafina, and the Cage, etc. And that's what that's all you could ever really want. So four out of five for me. What do you guys think? It comes out in theaters tomorrow. Uh so Renfield in theaters tomorrow. Go check it out. Uh some places have special screenings tonight. So if you want to check it out tonight, go ahead and check it out tonight. Um and yeah, so be sure to follow everything we're doing over here at Watt Real Entertainment, whether that be the HBOs, which should be coming back for a massive succession recap for, for like the first four episodes, or um, or the reviews or reactions or any of that fun stuff we're doing over here at Watt Real Entertainment. Uh, remember, Watt Gaming, Taylor's been doing a lot with the Twitch. Go follow the Watt Gaming channel, whether that's for the wrestling streams or his Resident Evil or God of War and so on and so forth. Um, so without further ado, remember to like, subscribe, and follow. I'm Matt. This was another Real Reaction, and we'll see you next time.